Hello there, and welcome back to my computer. I'm still doing Archimedean Solids. This is the truncated dodecahedron. This is a dodecahedron to start off. You can see the shape of it here, and then we are truncating, cutting off the pointy parts of it, so we get equilateral triangles, and of course, uh, all sides are equal. You can't see that there. Sorry, I'm going to measurement. Uh, if I take any edge, it has the same length the whole time. That's the basis of this polygon, poly, polyhedra, poly, poly thing, Archimedean solid. Let's start talking and start modeling. I'm talking too much. We're going here. We're going to start sketching. Uh, the beginning of this sketch is almost like my dodecahedron with some small differences. The first line here constrained vertically, midpoint to the center point. Uh, immediately dimension it. This is going to be the height of the truncated dodecahedron from flat side, the big flat side, to the on the other side, the coincident to the other side. It's going to be 100 millimeters. Let's hide the dimension and we're going to start creating some little polygons. We're going to start with a polygon down here. It's been a construction polygon. It's going to need five sides. We're going to turn around basically where we want it. And we're going to constrain this side vertically. Now we need two more polygons, circumscribe polygons, make sure it's construction still. And they need to be a four size, so they are squares. We're going to repeat that. And we need four sides like that. And now we are going to make sure they are. Sorry, I want that side to be horizontal or vertical, doesn't matter. Let's remove that one. I don't like it. I want it like that. It's not that important. And now we're going to fetch them into this sketch here. So we're going to start with this one. Mark the line, midpoint, and midpoint here. The second thing we're going to do, we're going to coincident between this corner and the center point of the pentagon. Other one here. First thing we're going to do, we coincident again. Uh, we're going to take the top line and coincident it to this point. We're going to take this point over to here. And the last thing I do is going to take this point out to the corner of the first cube or square we did. And by that we have locked down everything so we know that this pentagon has the correct dimension. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start doing our guide rails for uh, the solids we're going to do. The middle line here is going to be the path of the sweep plate and now we're going to start doing our guide rails. We start with this from the intersection between the pentagon the baseline up to here. Constrain it horizontally. Second thing, constrain this line to this corner of the small square. We're going to do some help geometry because we need to move this line to the other side. We're going to do a line from here, construction line now, up to here. Uh, constrain this line, center point to the center path and then a line from here, somewhere out here, make it parallel to this and this point horizontally to that. Please, like that. So this is basically the same sketching I'm doing if I do normal dodecahedron, but now we're going to keep working a bit further. So we're going to need now to do the truncation and we're going to use some small symmetry and everything. First thing, we're just going to do a line here. It gets perpendicular, that's good. We are going to coincident it with the pentagon on each side. So it's going to get locked in like that. And then the thing to get in the right place, make this line and this line symmetrical around the center line. This is going to be where we truncate, cut off the corner. So we're going to cut it off with a equilateral triangle. So let's draw that triangle. Like, yeah, we can intersect there like that. We're going to make all these three sides equal. So it becomes an equilateral triangle. And we're going to make a circle to help us from the intersection here out to here. So this circle has the same length as the height of this triangle. And we're going to make a line out from here to here. We're going to find the angle later. So that's what we're going to start doing now. We start with a first helpline from here up to this line somewhere. Make this line parallel to the helpline here. 
this point up here is where we're going to end up later. We are going to do a line from this point somewhere out here and then up to here with some constraints. Now this line shall be parallel to this or the center line, any one you want. And that line needs to be equal to the side of a triangle, not the height now, the side of a triangle. And that line needs to equal to the first height we did because that's the same way of a triangle. See if a fusion can solve this for us. Yes, thank you, solution. Thank you, fusion. Uh, and now we have done all the geometry we need to help us. So we are going to do the next two guide rays. We're going to do three sweeps to make this one. So we're going to start center of circle. We have a line chooser, not construction line. Go away line from that point somewhere up here. We can make sure that this line becomes horizontal to the top of a path. We're going to make this line parallel to the first line we did here. So this is an extension of that line. The second line we're going to do is somewhere from here to here. Make sure this line is constrained horizontally to that point. Make this point horizontal to that point and then collinear between this line and this line here. So with that done, we have done all the things we need to do in this plane. So we're gonna finish sketch and now we're gonna sketch on the base. But sorry, we need to construct a plane. I always forget this. Construct, uh, choose this plane and then to object and we're going to choose the end of this line down here where we've done all of our guidelines. Like that. Uko. And then create a sketch on this plane. We are going to do, I'm going to tip it up a bit. Uh, create polygon, circle sky polygon. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. We're going to do some projections first. I'm getting confused. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. We're going to need all these points where our guidelines are hitting our sketch plane. Now we're going to create polygon, circle sky polygon from the center point. We're going to have five sides. I'm just going to pull it out something like that. And then repeat. We're going to need three of these five and the th one. third one like that and now we're going to use midpoint constraint any side to that point any side to that point any side to that point and we have finished sketch so now we have our uh, profiles we're going to sweep and we have our lines and gate rail, guide rails. So let's do a sweep, solid sweep. Uh, path plus guide rail. And we're gonna start with this guide rail out here. So it's the center. It's one, two, three, four, five. The path is gonna be the center path and the guide rail is gonna be that one. New body, thank you. I'm going to turn off body so it makes it easier to see. We are going to repeat sweep. Now we're going to play around with this line out here. So it's that is one, two, three, four, five. And the path is of course the same one in the middle. The guide rail is now the one going from here out to here. So that's that one. We're going to turn on bodies and it looks really strange. We exchange operation from cut to intersect. And now we're going to turn off voice again and we're going to do our third sweep. And very easily, we're going to choose all the profiles. And the path is going to be this one. And the guide rail, as you can see, is this line here. We're going to turn on bodies. And once again, intersect. And we are done. Let's turn, oh, we are halfway done. Turn off the sketches. And if we take a look and turn around, you can see this size does look good. Now we need to flip the other side around. We don't need to, as I don't want to redo all the sweeps. So what I will do is a circular pattern. Make sure it says pattern type bodies, this body and the axis. 
we're going to use, that's why I constrain the first line to the midpoint, so we have the midpoint in the center of our body. We're going to look at the axis. I do not want the axis that points at a flat surface. I want a axis that points out here onto the edge, so we need a green axis for me here. And we're going to need two, and we are done. And this body looks really strange with things coming in and out, so we do a combine, choose both bodies and make sure operations intersect and we are done. We are now going to check from flat side to flat side. It should be 100 millimeters. Good. And you want to check any sides here. Uh, these two, 20.0181, yeah. They are all the same. And just to check that everything is parametric, let's go back, turn on our dimension, let's change that to uh, 68 and finish catch and the model updates. Yeah, we have made a perfect model. With that, take care and see you around.